What's up, everybody? Hope you guys are having a wicked day. I'm Biscuit Dog, and we're back in Kenji. We're using two mods at the moment. That's Shidan's interior and exterior design, and Luminaire's 256 recruitment limit mod. If you're interested in either of those two awesome mods, just go look down in the description. Everything will be there for you. All right, you guys. We're in a spot of bother. <laughs> oh, it's not great. The whole Leviathan hunting party is injured. The bulls m most of all. Um... But at the end of the last episode, you, you guys saw me try to cross this river. It, it took my whole life. What's going on over here? Oh my god, this is the last thing we need. We need to get a shelter up as quick as possible so that we can stop being marauded by these awful creatures. Here come some cannibals. Hopefully they leave us alone. Mind your business, cannibals. Mind your business. Oh, let's just make sure they don't attack us for no good reason. I suppose they have a good reason. They eat people. <laughs> it looks like they've got some people to eat already. Be on your way. Be on your way, you filthy, filthy creatures. All right, you guys, we need to get a shack up as soon as possible, and we need to lay down some sleeping bags because everybody's injured. Maybe cook a few steaks, have some dinner. Everyone needs to rest up. That's what's going to happen. We've got a straggler. <laughs> oh, thank God they didn't mess with us. We've got to get the shack up as soon as possible. I was thinking of putting up a wall, but then you guys suggested I put up a shack, and it's probably a better idea. Um, because we're going to need all the steel we can get for all of our harpoons to hunt leviathans. So, even this, I mean, we could strike it down again. Once we've built it and rested in it, we could, we could pull it down again and then take the building materials that are left over, but I don't think we'll need them. I think we've got enough building materials to make a small shack here and then a storm house up in the hunting grounds. Let's, let's make that shack as soon as possible. Okay, Jane. Build me a shack. Small shack, that should do it. Five, no problem. This is the perfect place. Alright, let's just rotate it a little bit. Uh, that's a good spot. Confirm it. Sure you don't, but the bulls do. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. The other bull's got 14, so I think we need 16. We've we've got one extra now. <laughs> we don't we don't have building materials to spare. Actually, everybody, everybody help build this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does though. Good. Let's all build it. This won't take long at all. Let's see who's got the sleeping bags. I think the doctor's got two. Dusty doesn't have any. No. The doctor? The doctor's got two. Alright. Come on, let's build. What are we doing here? Good times. That was that was the quickest small shack we've ever built. At least we at least we still build at full speed. <laughs> It's these bulls that are slowing us down. Look how ridiculous this is. Oh, uh, they're getting better, actually. It looks like they... Yeah, they've been healed a little bit, too. Great. Hopefully that stops the crippling. These bulls are pretty useless now, though. We're going we're gonna to probably have to leave them here. Pity they can't fit inside the shack. Oh, well. They're going to have to fend for themselves for a while. We'll come up with something. Pity we can't carry them. You can't carry them unless they're knocked out, I don't think. That's not really going to be an option, and they're way too slow to come with us, so... Yeah, <laughs> the bulls might be on their own. We'll make a plan with them. Build camp beds. Where's the pillow? Pillow against the wall, please. We don't want any surprises here. <laughs> Let's put them at the back of the room, just in case. Ah, that's cozy. Off you go, Doctor. Now now let's decide who gets to sleep first. Jane, Dusty. The Doctor's probably one of them. The Keeper's probably the other one. Ooh. Pete's in pretty bad shape. Ooh. Oh, that's one of the bulls. No one cares about you, bull. <laughs> the Doctor. <laughs> you can't just do that. You've got to build the second one. Come on now. Uh, okay, they're deciding. I guess that's the update. They're deciding who sleeps where. Uh, this is going to take a fair amount of time, actually. Because we only have two beds. I should have probably bought more than that, but I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting such shenanigans. 
Uh, we've got the stuff. We've got the stuff to make more, but we don't have the machine. So that's a crying shame, dude. He brought one. Ooh. Ah, good. Brum's got two as well. That's gonna save us. Come on, Brum. Probably should have brought more of these. Four is okay though. Four is not the end of the world. There. And there. Do it. Now he's gonna build one and fall asleep in it. Yep, that's exactly what he did. Useless. Alright, fine. We've got four camping beds. It's okay. Good times. Alright, whichever one of you wants to come, you may come. Come on, Keeper. In an ideal world, everyone would have had their own bedroll, but I wanted to leave some space for loot. Just in case we find some cool stuff up there. We should, too. There's a lot of cool stuff up there. Shadan says there's new loots, too. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna go check out those armories, dude. I have not forgotten. I'm powered by the loot. It motivates me. It drives me forward. I really want to see what the Leviathans drop, too. I hope it's not like... 80 skins and a tusk or something. <laughs> there's going to be no meat on those leviathans. An impossibility. But I bet you there's going to be no meat. I really hope there's meat. Alright, well the rest of you may as well come inside. Come inside, take a load off. Let's build a fire. Ah, now it's cozy. So we lock it and close it. Ah, much safer, much safer, you guys. How are these guys looking? Man, the doctor's got a bad chest. Beds really help you guys. If you're going on a long mission like this, definitely don't forget beds because they really, really up your healing time. And uh, it's good. Look at this, minus 49. Brom's gonna be sleeping for a while. Ugh, 17 and 20, stomach and chest. It's not good. And that's not counting these guys. Alright, Blood Gnome, you're okay. Jane's okay too. You guys are gonna be fine. Sackshot should be fine. Sackshot's perfect. Yeah, you should be fine too, Dusty. Eh, Fergus? I don't know, man. Right, Fergus, we'll put you there. You're gonna be the next guy to take a nap. Pete, you too, buddy. Dusty back down here. Why are you limping so badly? Your legs seem fine. Sally? Ooh, got some chest problems there. Slim Jim? Yeah, okay, we'll make Slim Jim the fourth guy. So we got two rounds of sleeping to do. These guys all have to get better, and then these four have to sleep. So, it's gonna be a while before we head north again. Maybe we can take Sackshot on a little a little exploring mission, but it, it could be very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. Maybe we just, just nip up this hill and see what's at the top. <laughs> Look, we've got time to spare. What could go wrong? <laughs> Oh my god. At least Sackshot's not made of meat. There's so many cannibals around here. I think they'll leave Sackshot alone. I don't think they'll tie him to a pole, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I kind of think they'll leave him alone, though. Let's go find out. He's doing fine anyway. <sighs> here goes nothing. <laughs> Safety first. Who's this? Who are you, buddy? Are you tied to a pole? No, Shrieking Bandit. You look like you're tied to a pole, though. Oh, no, you're not. You're just hanging out. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. As long as you got no problem with old Sackshot, old Sackshot doesn't have a problem with you. How do we get up here? Let's try here. Oh wait, you do have a problem with old Sackshot. Come on, Sackshot. Stand and deliver, buddy. No? 
Huh. <laughs> uh, I thought she was getting a slap for sure. You got any places of interest around here? Oh, he... who are they? That's a bunch of that's a bunch of shrieking bandits. <laughs> Why did I do this? Let's just sit tight, see which way they run. They kind of look like they were running right towards us, and they are. All right, sack shot. Maybe, maybe just a little sneak. Just a, just a little sneak. Is this hill gonna be enough? Yeah, they didn't see anything. Beautiful. Uh, this one may spot us. And uh, do do do. Yeah, he totally spotted us. Doesn't look like they want. Doesn't look like they want any beef though. Onwards. Same one we went to a little while ago, I think. There's often some pretty good loot in here. Let's go have a look, see. Sackshot should... Sackshot could probably also use some uh, lockpicking practice as well. No. Ooh. Hold Saber, 0 0.98, it's not a bad Hold Saber. Desert Saber, 0 0.89. These are worth a fair amount of money. I just don't want to f fill up on crappy weapons. Let's see what else we have on offer. Doesn't look like any of this is locked. Bizarre. Does it remember the, lo the last time that I picked all the locks? Because all this stuff used to be locked. Very strange. Off you trundle, come along. Eh, nothing. New. There's some stuff. Wow, sell value three grand. That's worth it. Mercenary club. Why is it worth so much? I'm not complaining. Uh, those are worth nothing. Okay. Another one? Three grand. Wow, these are worth a lot of money. Blood loss. Two times blood loss multiplier. That's pretty good. <laughs> we could beat somebody to death with that. You guys mind your business. Or I'll test this new club on you. Uh, you? Nothing? Nothing? Come on. No, nothing. All right, fine. There's hardly ever anything down in this little corner, in my experience. There's hardly ever one item down here. <coughs> Way to prove me wrong. Steel bars, nothing. And what's that? A small box. New. It's really weird that none of this is locked. Very strange. Might as well go pick up those weapons from the beginning. Is there anything else of interest out here? Not really. We're really in the middle of nowhere. Let's see what we can see. Yeah, there's nothing lootable as far as the eye can see. We better head back. That's probably the safest thing to do.
Okay, well, we're almost back at the shack. I don't think there have been any incidents so far. So far, so good, you guys. We're on the mend. Sackshot picked up a few extra weapons. We got a few little loots. Eh. Very strange that nothing was locked. Last time we went there with Ratboy, everything was locked. It took him so long to open everything. I doubt it remembered. Maybe stuff's just not locked there now. Ah, I'm so glad he's home safely. I thought we might lose him there. <laughs> it's quite cool though. Skeletons are pretty cool because they, uh, they're not really of interest to a lot of the strange raidy type creatures that live out here. So uh, cannibals can't eat them. So cannibals don't care about them. Shrieking bandits don't seem to care about them. The holy nation hates them. But cannibals and shrieking bandits and other kind of wild animals don't really seem to bother them because they can't eat them. So that's a big advantage. There's a lot of advantages to having skeletons. They don't eat either, which is a huge advantage. Doctor, are you fine? All right, fine. You go that way. Uh, who needs this the most? Yeah, you're probably the worst. What about you? You're fine now. Time to swap. Let's swap all these guys out. How are you doing? Yeah, you still need some time. You still need some time too. Sorry, Fergus. You're gonna have to wait. Man, alright, that was super risky taking Sackshot out like that, but it kind of paid off for us. We got some loot. He made it. He made it. If he'd have gotten kidnapped or captured or something, it probably would have been the end of Sackshot, because all these guys are really, really hurt. Everyone's kind of weak. I just want to get them to Leviathan Country as quickly as possible, without any distractions. Oh. And this coastline, this coastline we have to travel is fraught with danger, you guys. I'm thinking, I'm thinking robotic spiders here. Robotic spiders mostly, and then we get into the leviathans. <laughs> it's really, really unhospitable up there. All right, you guys, I think I'm gonna leave it here for today. Um, I'll heal everybody that needs healing off camera, and then by the beginning of the next episode, we can set off north again. Ready to step back into our world of pain. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!